But this is, this is actually my favorite part of the day. I think this is my personal best part of the program. It's interesting to listen to consultants to some degree. It's interesting to listen to, I think, the practitioners or the companies we had earlier. I think Arun's presentation was, was superb. If you're looking at the BPO industry or were curious to find out what BPO is all about, but this is where you get to really speak to your peers and find out what very successful agencies from around the world are doing. Um, this is also where you get to ask questions. Um, so as Jane mentioned, we've reviewed the list of questions you submitted in advance. We picked a series of questions that seem to reflect most of the ones on the list. We won't be able to answer all of the ones on the list, but once we've gone through a few individual questions, we'll just open it up to discussion and you can finally ask the questions you've been holding back all day and um, we can stay here as long as you like. So, uh, um, in Invest in Spain, we, we started operation about five years ago. We are just about coming up for our fifth birthday now. Quite a young agency. We started with about three and a half people. We're now over 40. Um, we are divided basically into project management information and strategy, and promotion, marketing, and the commercial agency. In the project management area, we're divided sectorally, and we have seven priority sectors which we promote actively, but we also attend to investors that come from sectors that we haven't necessarily hired a sector specialist for. Thanks, Camilla. Stefan, what can you tell us about the Hamburg Business Development Corporation? Yeah, maybe I should start with the, the fact we also just celebrated anniversary. We have been 25 years old by now. Um, we have been set up uh, at that time because it had been realized in the city that you need a relatively small entity uh, that is looking after local companies and that is looking into attracting international companies to do something in our city, respectively in our region. Um, and as mentioned before, it's a city and a region, or it's a city and a state. Uh, you probably know Hamburg is one of the 16 federal states and it's a city of uh, 1.8 billion people, medium-sized. Uh, we are just in the process of grouping up with the uh, neighboring uh, counties where we form a region of the so-called Hamburg Metropolis region, which is then having 4.4, 4.5 million people living in the area. Claire, the Ontario International Marketing Center, have I got that right? Yeah, I know it's long, isn't it? We're working At on the <laughs> Canadian High Commission in London. That's right. Oh, so okay. Ontario has 10 offices globally. We're about to expand um, that footprint. We are co-located within Canadian embassies um, or high commissions throughout the world. I manage uh, the centre here in London, which covers all of the UK and uh, Ireland, um, including the Republic of Ireland. We have all, all similar target sectors. The only one that um, I will add to that is financial services. Um, there's been a huge push to promote Toronto as a financial services sector, um, as, a, as an international sector. So those of you who are familiar with Ontario, um, it's Canada's largest province by population and by GDP. There's about 13 million people. It takes an hour uh, a day to drive from the south to the north of the province, and you can fit five Englands in Ontario. So it's massive. And with that comes a very diversified economy. Our offices support all of the sectors in Ontario, from agriculture, from tourism, but we don't do that proactively. 